All right, so I'm going to show you something. So one of the problems with having a convertible is that your leather takes a beating. Why? Because convertible lot, like tops, even the best ones leak a little. Um, they get water in them, and then the sun comes out and it dries it. And so I have some spots that start to show the age of the car, especially um, especially because I sweat a lot when I play basketball. I try to wipe down, but then um, this happened one time. Um, now I'm starting to get some wear marks on the side here. They're not through, but I want to go ahead and address these. Uh, and then there's also some water spots right there. Just, again, from being at work, hard rain, comes a little bit through the window. Sun comes out, dries it, uh, and then you get like this texture. So what I actually got was this um, Leather World Complete Kit that comes with the prep cleaner, the scuffer, the prepper, um, scuffer here, the actual uh, deluxe kit to, if I need to do actually some repair to it, and also the color, which looks close, but I mean, this is supposed to be a perfect match, but we'll see, I think it's like sand beige. Um, and uh, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take the cleaner prepper and then we're gonna spray and scuff up the area to try to get the texture, open up the pores of the leather, so that then uh, we can go ahead and, and start uh, making some application. Let's go. Okay, so one thing I already noticed, it's just I'm dirty. No, I, uh, I use this car when I play basketball a lot and stuff like that, and so uh, some of the marks that I thought were deep or that were bad, just using the prep cleaner itself, it just showed that there was a lot of dirt in there. So it's so important to scuff this up first. Um, you can clean up a lot of areas, but we're going to really get these like little wear marks with the color really good once we get through. Um, so back to that one issue I had before. Um, it was sweat, windows up, but top down. It created a lot of heat in here and moisture that sat and caused this to get hardened. And I tried to um, steam some of it out and I steamed some of the color out, but there is still a little disforming. So I'm almost tempted to wet sand this just a little bit, a little bit here. And uh, and as you know, you look around here, I see some of these little crack marks and things here. Um, these, I, I don't think I have to use any filler on, but I might pass just a little bit of filler there just to bring it back to like a really good quality. And uh, I'm gonna leave like some of these stress marks the way they are because it just shows proper aging of the car. And then we're gonna come over here and we're going to clean this up here and then i'm going to touch up this bottom piece sorry i'm doing this at night but down here where your keys stuff like that hit and uh as long as the color matches up this should do really well so again apologize for the poor lighting it's 11 o'clock in the evening Oops, still good. nope still good but when you i'm um, now after i've sanded it down with um so as you can see now, I'm just going to be using the this leather filler because I don't have any. I'm let that focus out. I don't have any major holes or cracks in my leather, but I I want to get these little small cracks. So I'm going to kind of put this filler in some of those cracks, just so that they don't become worse and lead to further damage. Eventually, I'm going to replace these seats all together. But for right now. I want to see this project and see how it works out. It's like that. Now I'm going to take the access to the day. I'm going to apply it there. Same. Apply it somewhere. My intent is just to smooth over just enough. But um, you're not going to like get it perfect because you're gonna wet sand I mean you're gonna um, 600 grit sand some of this down so just want to get these little bolsters and shoulders uh, that's way too much there it's probably the biggest one though so now I've been giving it some time to kind of cure, but I can speed it up with the blow dryer or with the heat gun. 
So I'm gonna have it in a low setting and so that we can get this hardened up and sand it. So now I'm sanding down uh, some of the filler and I'm using a thousand. It was saying that I could do 600, but I just had a thousand around. So I'm just gonna take a little more time and uh, sand it this way and I'll have probably a better finish. It won't be as rough, but you know, that remains to be seen. But you can see some of these areas right here starting to blend down. So you just have to do the rest and do up here at the same time. All right, so now with everything sanded down, I have my color here, my actual color, and a sponge. I'm going to put some of the color on the sponge and start dabbing away. There's going to be a little bit probably difference in color initially, but as I do greater coverage, I uh, believe that it will soften and look more like the original. Oh, this boy is a little runny. But you just want to dab, too, when you're doing this. Dab it in nice and slowly right and just light coats to start off with so it's tactile and it forms and then from there you'll increase it to get to the just like any other thing you paint uh, to get to the true color right and so that's what we're doing we're doing a real nice light and let me tell you something um other world's products have like, improved their packaging, the way they put things together, has gotten so much better. I've, I've, man, I've been ordering kits from them since 2015, 2016 on various cars that I've owned, and um, just the way that they they pack things together, the the, the nice um, uh, repair kits, um, gloves. Uh, the you know it's just progressively over time becoming better and better dependable product that's why i always go back um to other world no plug and uh that's why i continue to use them and so like as you can see here it is a very close match and this is my first round right and as i go more and more this will blend in the repairs as they call it um, we'll blend in more and more. Um, they look pretty even and not too bad. Um, some of this over here may need a little bit of work, but we'll see as we blend in. The great thing about it is that we can basically take this down and redo it again. A lot of times with this product, I've been able to use it multiple times over and over again. They give you enough um, to do it, and uh, and it's definitely going to help get the job done. But this is round one of the coloring. We'll give it a few minutes. We're actually gonna do the whole seat, but I just want to start off to show you how it starts to cover up um, those cracks after you made your repairs. Um, it, uh, the filler gets covered, and as you go further, obviously the, clear, the, the um, filler is a lighter color, so it's gonna take more for it to blend in as you put in more applications. All right, guys, uh, that seat's still drying. The rear seats are just the last piece, but I kind of want to show you some of the finished product. Um, I did the seats. As you know, I did the repairs here. Uh, came out really, really well. The dye um, is a slightly different tint, or I really think what's happened is this entire interior just faded slightly, being in the sun so much. So there is a, a slight change but when I say the seats came out really well, seats came out really well, I might go back if I have any holes or anything that are kind of clogged, just take a little pin and go through. It's a little bit uh, tougher with the perforated leather. Um, but at the same time, as you remember, I did this section right here. That came out really great. Um, I went ahead and just also redid my entire center console. Uh, I had to do a little cleanup here around certain areas that's fine I can use some alcohol to get it off but it almost returns the car to factory new I did the shift knob and uh, and then the other seat and you can see I did the this I'm gonna redo a couple more times right there because I just see a couple little spots where if you don't apply it evenly it comes out a slightly a little bit darker and then I need to clean up my cabin hole but you can see here I mean this really is a great job 
it really restores even some even right around this little area where you turn the knob for the light switch i just added just a little bit there and you can see how close the color is because you really you can't tell you really can't tell that well i know i'm at night um but i just wanted to get this out and done um again if you if your interior i i even did like little side pieces right there so everything looks fresh and new again so if your interior is starting to look a little dated, if you're, um, you've picked up a lot of scratch marks or even the water repair, I mean, just, you gotta look at the, remember these seats had water damage to them and I did a sanding, 800 grit sanding of them. No, they're not perfect. You can see a little bit still here and there, just only in certain lighting. But the thing about it is it's plush again. It's nice and plush. It's where it should be. Um, there was little creases and things that I filled in there at the top of the seats. The interior, you can see it from this side again, looks really great. And then if you look here, remember I did all that bolster repair in here and it brings a seat looking like, you know, this is a very, very good, still worn, but very, very good interior. And I am completely happy with the results from Leatherworld. Um, again, if you don't know about them, I've been using them since, what, 2016, something like that on various cars. It's really, really great stuff. Um, now I'm going to go back. You have to let it set for 24 hours, which I've been letting it set. The other areas, which I recently more did, I'm going to wait more time. But you go with the Leather World uh, uh, Protection Cream. So I'm going to apply that definitely to the driver's seat because I will be driving this car in tomorrow. And... Uh, Again, uh, what a pleasure of an experience to have. Uh, really brings the car back to a very, very proud status. Um, this is a 2007, uh, so that makes it 17. Uh, that's 10, 27, it's three years short. So 17-year-old car, something like that. If my math is right, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> but uh, it really brings back the finish of the car. And... Uh, I think it looks great. I think it looks great.